Hello, everybody. All right, I have some exciting news. We have a new release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will link everything down below for you along with my discount code. But I want to show you these individually. They're super cute. Um, this one is called Picnic Fun. And it is, first of all, I love that they're very simple designs, easy to color. So if you are practicing with alcohol markers or brush markers or water coloring, um, color pencils, this is just a really wide open set that's going to be easy to do. So you have the picnic table, a little pie, little apples, um, the picnic basket, a little cute banner there, you're invited, picnic fun. Hey cutie pie. And then we have this cute little panda bear and a little chickadee with the picnic basket and also with another pie there. So super cute. You can make a scene with this. You could just do them individually. You could do them together. I just love it. All right. The next one is called, these are so cute, um, Tea Time Buddies. And with Tea Time Buddies, we get these macaroons, which Leah and I love to make. This little tea bag, a little tea, tea time, tea cups. There's a single macaroon to my best tea. You're a sweet tea. That's my favorite sweet tea. Here we have like a little rabbit um, coming out of a little mug there. Here's a little mouse, tea addict, mercy, a little straw. And then here is a little face and you can put the little face on the little macaroon if you want so it is super cute okay and again i love how simple the images are so cute okay this one is called summertime buddies this one is get your shine on here is like a little dog inside the little floater floating by to say hi stay cool there's some ice cream some little bubbles you have your little um sand castle little starfish Summertime time for a break, a little cat inside the floaty, and again, there is a cute little face if you want to add the face inside the sun or add it on the, um, the little uh, lemonade or iced tea, whatever you want that to be. Cute, 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 cute. And then this one is called Spring is in the Air. And this one is got a rainbow. You have a little umbrella. You have a little chickadee with his little boots holding an umbrella. I love the little watering can with the flowers. You know what this kind of reminds me of? If you want to send someone one of those um, edible fruit baskets, uh, edible arrangements, they make the little fruit. Um, you could you can make a little card to go with it. Um, there's a little carrot. Hip hooray, hello, here's a little boot with flowers and an umbrella in it. Spring is in the air, little Easter egg, and then of course our little bunny, again with the little boots and the umbrella. So super cute. Again, we're going to have a blog hop, um, YouTube hop actually. So there will be links um, down in the description for you to follow along. Um, but for beautiful, fun, not too shabby, sets and they are all made in the u.s and they are photopolymer clear sets so i'm going to make one card super quick i've been eyeing up this set here they come nicely packaged and they are high quality photopolymer and i'm going to get out some masking paper which i finally found stuck under my misty of course <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp out these little characters they're so cute and I'm just using some archival ink because I know it'll dry pretty quickly and we're going to do our little ducky first whoops our little bunny all right so we're going to cut them out quick
And here I just have some Nina, Sol Nina Solar White cut down. Two card front size. And because these are such fun, whimsical images, you can determine how much you want to put your effort into coloring this. Like these are really simple, cute images, so you could just do simple coloring with them. If you want to go in and start layering up your colors and adding your highlights and shadows and all of that, of course you can do that. I'm going to do a pretty simple card here. I just want to mask these off before we do the background. How many of you guys are excited for spring? I know it's been slowly kind of warming up. Thank goodness we did not have a bad winter this year. I am personally very grateful for that. Um, especially with starting the new job. I did not want to be on the road, in the snow. Some of my stores are, you know, like an hour and a half away, I would say is the longest. Um, but on average, I'm in the car about an hour. Some stores are closer, some are a little further, but I would say on average about an hour. It's not too bad, um, but I would hate to have to drive in that during bad weather. Although... Um, from what I understand, my company's very flexible about that. So loving it, loving every minute of it. I keep saying everything happens for a reason and I am just, you know, still overjoyed with this company and how awesome it is. The job itself is great. Um, the people that I interact with on a daily basis amazing amazing team of people I love my boss she is just like I couldn't ask for um, a more amazing boss someone that I respect someone that um, appreciates me and then I appreciate her back and I don't know it's like um just lucky I guess all right and I will try to cut a little quicker here for those of you who don't want to hang around while I am doing some fussy cutting here um, what you can do is you can tap the right side of the screen two times and it will fast forward for you and you just keep fast forwarding until I'm to where the point you would like me to see at whether that be coloring or whatever and if I go too fast anywhere in the video and you you know want to slow it down just Press the uh, left side of the screen, double tap, and it will rewind for you. Okay, that's pretty good for that one. And let's cut this little guy out. I generally don't like to fussy cut. I know I say that all the time, and yet here I am fussy cutting. But it sometimes is easier than going over. I don't have a scan and cut machine. Um, I could scan these images into my silhouette and then have them cut out, but this is going to be a pretty quick card and a cute little mask I can make one time and use it a few times before I need to worry about making another one. So I'll be okay. Plus, I know some of you guys don't have all of that fancy schmancy technology. I mean, I would love a brother scan and cut, but I'm not going to go out and spend 300 bucks on one. Um, so this is just a cute way to show you guys what I do because I'm lazy but I know some of you guys don't have those things so and if you don't have masking paper you can use full sticky um, post-it notes just be careful how much ink you're putting down because those only last like maybe one or two times if you're lucky. The masking paper tends to hold up a little better. And there's a couple companies that make it. I use Inka Dinka Do masking paper, um, but I will link some other ones down in the description for you. And 
And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to do this kind of, you know, rainy background. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that when we stamp that our images aren't affected by our background, if that makes sense. Okay. So now, because we are going to be using some watercolor inks, I think we'll be okay with the archival ink. I'm going to put them in my mini misty just because I want to um, stamp this multiple times so I get a nice crisp black image. So I'm going to put my little buddies. on here. I think we'll make it this way. So we have our little rabbit and our little ducky. I'm actually going to use some Brutus Monroe detail ink because I know I can use this with watercolors and I can use it with alcohol markers. So, let's say here. That came out pretty good. I'm gonna do one more. Right. I am going to take the heat tool to it just to heat it up and set it. to carefully remove my backing paper and put that on my images. Now you can color your images and then do the background. I like to do my background first um, just because if it if it bleeds under here or doesn't come out the way that I want it to, I'm not so upset that I didn't put that much um, time into doing my coloring. I just did the background, if that makes sense. Okay, so that one is masked. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty good. All right, we're going to just do some simple ink blending. I am going to start with some tumbled glass distress ink. I have my little um, mini distress blender because I want a nice heavy coat of color here. If you want to do light color, then you would use the little blender brushes, but I want a heavy coat of color. I want to make sure that my edges are all pressed down and I'm going to start off of the mat and gently roll that color up. Tumbled glass is generally a pretty light color. This is a staple color in my Distress collection because, I mean, I use it for every single sky, every single lake. <laughs> and you can always darken it just by adding more layers. So for this bottom layer, 
we want it to be pretty light. Now as we move up towards the middle, I am going to put a little more pressure and darken that color some. And again, because I'm using the Nina paper, it does blend pretty smoothly. If you have a problem blending, I would say use some Bristol paper. Bristol is pretty smooth and makes it a lot easier with blending. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into the Blueprint sketch, which is a darker blue. Start from the top and bring that down. And then as I meet in the middle, kind of blend those two colors. Don't do a lot of ink blending um, where, like I do ink blending where it's like, okay, here's the sky or here's the water. But I, um, I don't think I do enough with like mixing of colors. I see a lot of beautiful cards out there where there's a lot of mixing of colors where mine tend to be like the same color group, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going back in with some of that tumbled glass and just again, blending that middle. Okay, so now, while that's wet, I want to grab my Distress Sprayer, and I think I can figure out the rest here. Just grab a paper towel. And I'm going to spritz it. And I want to kind of leave that on there, and you can see almost instantly how that ink starts to get picked up. A couple big fat drops on there. And then what you can do is lift that off of there. So we have our rain the background there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Arteza Everblend markers, which are alcohol markers. I have a good variety of colors. I like the little case, it makes it easy. And I'm going to take my little mask off of here. so I have it for next time. And I tried those masking markers, pens, masking fluid. Um, I couldn't get any of those to work um, as clean as masking paper. It was always a pain in the butt removing the masking fluid, so I don't recommend using any of those because to me they were just a big fat waste of money honestly okay so now we have our cute rainy background we have our little images our little critters i do want to wipe my background down quick make sure i get all that blue ink up okay and now we're just gonna color super easy super cute so let's start with our little ducky chick here and like I said, because these images are so simple, you decide how much um, you want to go into coloring these. I do want to grab a scrap piece of paper. I do not like that one. It looks like baby poop yellow. No, thank you. Okay, so this one is A944 Sunflower Yellow. I'm going to use the smaller tip. Because I stamped this out in 
the Brutus Monroe ink, I should have no problems coloring this in. And again, if you're the type that doesn't want to sit around and watch coloring, just right tap the screen two times, double tap, and fast forward through the coloring. Some of you like to watch coloring, so I leave this in for those people. base layer for our little chicky. I'm going to use the same yellow over here on our little bunny's boots. with that darker yellow which is A932 which is yellow ochre and just go in kind of darken our little cheeky up a little bit here just in a couple spots and then I'll go back in with the other yellow and blend that out Okay, super cute so far. All right, our little cheeky needs little pink cheeks. This is watermelon pink A487. And I'm also going to do her little boots in pink. is A9423 Pumpkin Orange. Cute. This is A422, which is called Vermilion, which is a little bit darker orange. Just a little bit on her beak there. Now, I forgot to do her little legs. Okay. Let's make her umbrella bright and colorful. Ruby red, A411. Mm, that's too dark. Too dark, take that back. is rose red a410 we'll start with that there we go a 
then we'll go in with the other red and use it as a accent color. like a bright yellow in the center. So this is A935, which is bumblebee yellow. Sunshine yellow and accent that. Sunflower yellow. Okay, and then for the last part of the umbrella, I would like a nice blue. This is called Myconus Blue. Probably should have made her umbrella pink to match her boots. Too late now. See? All right. That one's done. We just need to color her umbrella handle with some mocha brown A630. So our little chickadee is done. Now we need to do our little bunny rabbit. And I think we'll make her a light brown bunny rabbit. We have some butterscotch orange. Let's see if it's really orange. It looks brown to me. Swatch it out. Oh, it's a nice light brown, okay. A little bit more detail in our bunny rabbit, so we got to be a little more careful coloring around her. And with the darker brown and do the umbrella handle. A little pink on her nose. A602 is vanilla. I'm going to do the inside of her ears with that. And also her tail. And I'm going to add a little bit more shading to her. This is called Caramel Brown. I'm going to do 
Just kind of add some texture to her. Not really like doing a full coloring, but just adding some wispies all over her to fill her in, but also give her the look of fur. Just doing short kind of strokes. And that will darken her up, fill her in, but also give her a little bit of texture. And we'll smooth some of this out when we go back in with the other color. So we'll go back in with the butterscotch orange and fill in that layer again. So our little critters are done. I think I'm going to do pink on her umbrella since I didn't do it on that umbrella. This is the watermelon pink. And I should have gave this one the red, yellow, and blue umbrella and the other one a pink umbrella. But that's okay. Kids exchange stuff all the time, right? I mean, Leah comes home with toys, and I'm like, where did you get that? She's like, oh, my friends gave it to me. And I'm like, do their parents know that they're, oh, yeah, it's fine. And then I'm thinking, what are you taking over there and giving away that I don't know about? Kids. All right, let me find a little bit darker pink here. All right, that might be too dark. Let's see here, blush pink. go back in with the base color and kind of smooth out my brush strokes cut my um, marker lines I don't like the way my bunny looks so I'm gonna go back in with the vanilla and fill in my bunny and just kind of smooth it out I like the different colors I don't like the texture On the outside there where I didn't get good blending or I didn't get good masking I'm just gonna try to find a light blue a really light blue that I can go in there and blend some of that and you the other thing I can do is go in with like a water um, a water marker and lift some of that distress ink and fill that in but I'm just gonna try to find a really light blue to fill that in okay so this is called glacier blue Just 
fill in around my little animals. So now all of the white marks are gone. Okay, the other thing I wanna do is I wanna add some puddles. So this is a light gray A151 uh, named Cloudy Gray and just going to draw some little puddles that these kiddos are playing in. Because that's what they want to do, right? They want to jump in muddy puddles. Cute. All right, I have a couple more things I want to do here. This is a glaze, Sakura glaze jelly roll pen in black. I want to add some little polka dots to her umbrella. And this pen I love because when it dries, it still looks wet. In fact, I have to touch it to make sure it's not wet. But I think the, the polka dots will give it some interest, but also, you know, give it that look of being wet. Just gives it some dimension. Isn't that cute? And that's it. I don't think I need to do much more. I mean, you could go in and add more. Um, actually, you know what I will do? I'll do it later. Is I will go in with some Nouveau drops or some glossy accents and put them on top to really make it look like a rainy day scene. Oh, there we go. But pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Super cute stamp set. Again, this was called the, oops, let me get it back together here. This is called Spring is in the Air. This is part of the new Not Too Shabby design team release. Um, sorry, Not Too Shabby shop release. Um, there is going to be a YouTube hop. So check the description down below, not only for the stamp set, also for your discount code and to check out the other design team members. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will, will link everything in the description for you. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye. Oh, we need a sentiment. All right, I will stamp a sentiment on here after I do everything else I want to do. <laughs> so you can check on my Facebook and also on my Instagram. It will be at Nancy Stamps 15 for you guys. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>